Hello friends and happy Tuesday or whatever day it is for you. Today it is currently Tuesday, July 5th for me and it is 12.15 p.m. so it's just past 12 and I'm walking home from the gym right now. I just finished up at the gym. I did a seven kilometer run and I also completed our, our daily upper body challenge. So it's like shoulder press and side lateral raise and a bunch of different strength movements. So I did that this morning. Now I'm just walking back home. While I was running, I thought that it's been a little bit since I've done a vlog just like at home. Um, we did the Tofino vlogs a few weeks ago, but other than that, I haven't done a vlog being at home. And so I thought, why not just do it today? So I'm starting this halfway through the day. So it's going to be more of like an afternoon in my life kind of vlog, but I still like seeing those and I hope that you do as well. I had a dentist appointment today. It was just a cleaning and everything went well. <laughs> and then after that, we just came home. I walked to the gym. I did my run and my strength challenge. And now I am walking home again. Now I'm gonna take you with me for the rest of the day. It's kind of like a catch up reset day for me because I have been working the last four days. I've been working at a coffee shop for the last month. This last week I worked four days in a row. So today is kind of like a catch up on all of my social media work and just cleaning and like my life and everything. And so I'm gonna take you along with that. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm super close to 200 subscribers, which I'm so excited about. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who have subscribed or if you just subscribe now, thank you so much. Let's get into today's vlog. Okay, I'm back home now and I was just gonna put some laundry away that my mom put here for me, but I wanted to show you some of these pieces because I got them for my birthday and I've been loving them. So first of all, my mom got me some new pairs of Lululemon Align shorts and usually I just go for like the four inch length, but ever since I've gotten the shorts, I sent these shorts from Be Wild Her, what they look like. They have like deers and I guess it's just deer actually, deer is the plural, but it has deer and butterflies and flowers and birds and rabbits and they are so cute. And so I have been loving these shorts and they're the longer length. Usually all the shorts that I wear are like four inch length. These ones I believe are eight inches. And so at first I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like these as much, but I've actually really started to love the longer length of shorts. And so my mom got me some more pairs of shorts from Lululemon um, in the longer length. So first of all, there are these ones. So they are kind of like a purple and what's this color? Burgundy white floral pattern, if you can see that. So these are the Lululemon Align Shorts in the eight inch length. I have been loving them. They are so comfy. Uh, they're nice and high waisted. She also got them for me in two other colors. One of the other colors I got is like this bright coral color. And again, these are the eight inch length. I love these so much. They're amazing for like the summertime, especially if you're nice and tanned. And then the last color she got for me is like this mauve and gray tie-dye almost. So again, these are the eight inch length and this is what these ones look like. And I wear the size four and these again are the eight inch length. Okay. And then to go along with those shorts, my mom also got me some new tank tops from Lululemon as well. I really needed some new workout clothes because I've been using the same ones pretty much since we were in Ontario. So it's been like a year and it was time for some fresh workout clothes. So this is also from Lululemon. It's just like their purple basic tank top. I don't remember what this is called, but if I find it, I will put it in the description box down below. But I got this beautiful purple color to go with like the flowery shorts. Actually, they go with the bright pink ones too. And then she also got me this in black and then like a light baby pink. They're all super cute. And again, nice and comfy and loose and perfect for working out. And then the last thing I'm gonna just show for now is my new Lululemon backpack. I promise this is not sponsored by Lululemon. I just love all of their stuff. Um, so this is my new backpack. I have needed one for a long time. I've had the same one. It was my black Adidas one, I think for four or five years. And so it was time for 
an upgrade because I've been using my backpack as my gym bag, as my purse when we travel, pretty much all of the time. And so my mom got me this one and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna check it out. Um, what I love about this backpack is First of all, there's adjustable straps. So if you want it to be tighter or looser, you can do either. I also really like that both sides have a water bottle holder, which I also use to put my phone in. So when I'm just like walking around, I can just keep my phone in the little pocket there and it's easy to reach. Also, there's so much storage in here. There's this front pocket and then there's another pocket here and then there's one on the top. Um, and I just love this backpack. It has been one of my favorite things recently. So now I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna make some lunch. Okay, so here is lunch. I know it looks different than what I just showed you in the last clip, but after I made the salad for a recipe to post on Instagram, I added some textured vegetable protein, so I needed some extra protein in this. And then I topped it off with Secret Foods smoked paprika dressing. So I hope that that dressing goes well on this bowl. And then I also just have a glass of water and now I'm gonna eat lunch. Okay, so I just finished my salad. I actually really liked the addition of the dried textured vegetable protein. It almost had the texture of like crispy onions when you get them on a salad. Obviously they don't taste exactly like crispy onions, but I really like the texture and I like of course the added protein. So I think I'm gonna do that again one day. While I was at the gym, we got our monthly Magnum order. I'm gonna see if I can lift this up. And I thought we could do an unboxing together. Didn't know my family and I are sponsored by Magnum Nutraceuticals. It is a supplement company that we've been using for years. The only supplements that I use, and we were out of quite a few things, so I'm excited to have our favorites restocked. So I'm going to show you what we got. If you ever have questions about supplements, you can send me a message on Instagram, and I will gladly help you. Starting off, my parents got some Quattro. This is Magnum's protein powder. It is whey based. So this is the chocolate and they got the four pound tub because they go through it that fast. So we got chocolate and then also a four pound tub of vanilla. And uh, we got some acid, which is a CLA fat burner. We have afterburner, which is a nighttime fat burner. Main Brain, which is one of my favorite supplements. This is a nootropic, so it helps with focus and mental clarity and memory, and it's just so good. It's one of my favorites. We got some HMB, which is Hard Muscle Builder. This helps in, oh, you can see Daisy in the background. This is HMB. It helps in building muscle, increasing testosterone, enhancing recovery. It is also one of my favorites. And then my all-time favorite pre-workout. We had to get more. Uh, this is Limitless. So we got Limitless in the Blue Raz, which is my favorite flavor, and then Fruit Punch, which is my mom's favorite flavor. So I love Limitless because it is such a clean source of caffeine. It doesn't give you a crash or jitters or anything like that. It also contains uh, amino acids and creatine in it, so it's amazing if you want to build muscle, have amazing workouts, it tastes delicious. It's just my all-time favorite pre-workout. We got some Mimic. So Mimic helps your body use carbohydrates in the best possible way. So it, instead of storing your carbohydrates as fat, it stores it as energy so that when you are working out or you need extra energy, your body can use carbohydrates instead of your muscle. So this is one of my favorites. I take it every single day. This is Magnum G Spring. So this is a sleeping product. It helps uh, you sleep better. It helps with recovery. It helps you to build muscle. It has melatonin in it. So it helps you to have the best, deepest sleeps ever. I feel so rested when I take G Spring. So, and we were out of this. So I'm excited to have it back again. And then the last thing that we got is actually something that all, my whole family and I take. This is Magnum Primer. So this is the uh, multivitamin pack. I'll just open it and show you. 
is what the primer looks like. It's this handy little pack you can take with you anywhere. It has eight capsules in it and, it, and on the side of the box, it explains everything that is in each little capsule. So there is, so there are your branch chain amino acids, all of your vitamins you need, digestive enzymes, brain care, power fats, so much stuff in one little pack. And so I always make sure to take one of these every single day. So thank you so much, Magnum. I'm so glad to be restocked on all of my favorites. 2.20, we have about 15 minutes before class. Um, I wanted to show what I've been doing this afternoon. So while I was running today, I had another idea to write down all the collaborations that I have for this upcoming month, and then a bunch of different posts and story and content ideas for each collaboration. So that's what I've been doing today. Something else is for my job. I have a training on Thursday, and so I have been studying for my training. Now we have our Armageddon class in about 15 minutes. I'm excited. I love upper body workouts. Actually, I should take my pre-workout supplements now. Let's do that. And while we're here, I'm gonna put this away. So this is the stack I'm gonna go for, for today before our Armageddon class. First of all is Magnum DNA. This helps to build muscle, gives you extra strength, makes you feel amazing. And then I also am going to have my hard muscle builder and then I'm gonna have some volume as well. I already had Limitless before my run this morning. I'm just gonna take these three for now. They're like shining on my face. It is 3.41 and we just finished our Armageddon class. That was awesome, feeling pumped. It's time to shower now. I'll see you after. Okay, it is 4.12. I just showered and I'm all cleaned up now. And I'm gonna do some more work and some more studying for my test on Thursday. But before I do that, I wanna make a nice hot chocolate, I think. I know it's weird because it's like sunny out, but I've been really wanting to make a hot chocolate recently. And so I'm gonna use the recipe from my cookbook. Okay, so this is the recipe here. It's for the 20 calorie hot chocolate. Uh, these are the ingredients. You can screenshot this if you want. I will give you this free recipe from my book and this is what it looks like. So let's make this. So I'm starting to boil my water in the kettle and then the other ingredients are just some cocoa powder. So this is the Camino cocoa powder. I got this from House of Wellness. And then I'm just gonna add in one tiny pack of stevia. decided to change to a different cup because I forgot I like this one better. Um, so I'm just gonna enjoy my hot chocolate and I'm gonna do some more studying and work. So I have been working for a little bit. I made a post, I sent our recipes to our coaching team and Sophie started doing a nail treatment on me. Yes. Wow, they look beautiful. <laughs> I just started. Oh, that's okay, so I put some chicken in the oven. Now I'm going to prep some seitan for dinner tonight and I'm gonna be using these new black soybeans. Uh, I got from House of Wellness, Daisy chose these. I've never tried black soybeans. I've had regular soybeans like edamame and I really like those. So I'm excited to try these ones as well. Okay, what is it you wanna show me? Your little tomato girl. Oh, I have a baby tomato. Actually, two of them. Aw, that's so exciting. So for dinner tonight, I'm planning on making a butternut squash bok choy hash um, because bok choy is our vegetable of the week for our challenge. And so I'm trying to include it in a fun new way. And then I also wanna make some oven roasted broccoli because I have a dip from Secret Foods. It's a company I was sent their product and I wanted to do a post about it. So I'm gonna do some broccoli dipped in their sauce. And then I also have the seitan burgers for some protein. And then I'm gonna put it together and see how it goes. Okay, so a little update. It's been a bit and here's how the salads are looking so far. So this is my mom's salad. This is for Daisy, Sophie and my dad. And then over here, this is the butternut and bok choy hash. I have some oven baked french fries, some barbecue chicken breast, and then there are mussels in there. And then I have the broccoli in the oven. 
Also, I'm super proud because this lettuce is actually from my garden, so I hope that the family likes it. Alrighty, so here are the family's dinners. This is Daisy's salad. This is my mom's salad, Sophie's dinner, and my dad's. And then I am just about to take some pictures for Instagram of this dinner, but here's what mine looks like. So I have the butternut and bok choy hash here, the seitan black bean or black soybean burger, the roasted broccoli, and then this is the secret foods smoked paprika dressing. So what I'm planning on doing is dipping my broccoli and my burger into this sauce, and that is going to be my dinner. Also, while I was making dinner, I just got a knock on the door and it's a package from the brand called Game Changers Foods. I'm actually doing a giveaway with them right now on Instagram. It goes until July 7th, so if you haven't entered that yet, make sure to go enter it. So I thought we could do a little unboxing together. Okay, this is so exciting. So they have three different flavors of chickpea protein balls. So this is what they look like, beautiful packaging. So these are nutrient dense plant-based snacks. So this flavor is chocolate almond. This one is oat and coconut, and this one is super seed. This one only has nine ingredients, and then the other two only have six ingredients. And again, these are all non-GMO, gluten-free, and vegan. And the ingredients are literally insanely amazing on these. Uh, like the super seeds one, the ingredients are chickpeas, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp hearts, almond butter, dates, and maple syrup, and that is it. And then the other ones, as I said before, only have six ingredients each. This company is actually also made in Canada. And for two bites, it goes from 100 calories to 120 calories and from five grams of protein to three grams of protein. So I am so excited to try these. I don't know which flavor I'm going to try first. I do love coconut, so the oat and coconut one sounds really good to me, um, but I'm super excited to try them. If you, and again, if you haven't entered the giveaway that's on my Instagram yet, make sure to go do that for a chance to win these bites for yourself. So update, I made a batch of homemade protein balls because my mom messaged me and asked if I could make some. And then I also set the coffee pot is the coffee that we're currently using. So this is from Rhino Tofino. When we were in Tofino, I was working with this company and so I got this coffee. This is their medium roast and we tried it for the first time this morning. It was absolutely delicious. And this can be purchased online. So if you are looking for a new coffee to try, definitely recommend this one. We also have their dark roast to try eventually. And then this is just my dad's Folgers. He likes he prefers like Folgers. Um, I like special coffee. Uh, question for you is, do you prefer medium or dark roast? And what is your favorite coffee to get? And how do you make it? I just recently learned at work how to do the French press and it's really fun and it was delicious. And so yeah, do you do drift? Do you fr do French press, pour over? What's your method of coffee making? Don't forget, listen, don't, don't let you go, I think it's it.